by the Zelnaga Tower, uh, just running right past it. Looks like they're going to be they're coming for the back door, but uh, Ambient's back there. He knows what's going on back there, so he's got to get some defense up there. Maybe get the sentries up there. Sentries and stalkers coming up here. Got to defend the back door. Back door doesn't work. Uh, so these speedlings come down here. Split. Don't know why they split, but they split. So they're running back over here. I'm going to rally up. Uh, probably, oh, look at this expansion right there. Dead zone expanding right into the gold. It's about a third of the way done. Uh, so dead zone is going for a really nice economy build. Uh, I'm sorry, not an economy build, but we do have a hydralist then going down. Very nice. Hydras coming down. So we're going to have roaches, hydras, uh, speed lengths. we got the gold expand over there. Def we'll definitely have enough to, um, definitely fund that army as long as ambient stays inside of here and doesn't really do much we've got a bunch of roaches on this side and ambient had just moved all his forces back there however he with the zelnaga he did see what was going on and these roaches are going to go these um rocks are going to go down pretty quickly um because ambient's not going to be able to reach them but the roaches will be able to reach these rocks over here and get all these stalkers none of them have blink so we don't have any blink tech up because we don't have the temple up uh these sentries will be able to do a nice little probably drop a couple of force fields over here uh once once this is finished that way they can't squeeze in there but the stalkers will be able to get in uh maybe even block the stalkers block the um the roaches off right in back of them but we see a pylon coming down, so we're going to probably see a couple of cannons coming down over here. Um, either that or this is a nice proxy for warping in some uh, some more stalkers, some more sentries, some type of defensive unit. But actually, Ambient's coming down right here, pushing these roaches back a little bit. Uh, able to take out one or two of them. There goes another one. And there goes another one. And these stalkers are just taking out. Do we have any? Nope, we got no upgrades or anything for any of the armor. And those roaches were just pushed back very nice. We've got a cannon coming up over here for defense. Uh, let's see if we have any more advanced tech. We do have advanced tech. Move back just in time to see the Colossus coming up. Uh, with the extended thermal lance being researched, we still only have uh, three gateways and nothing being researched on the forge. Over here we have uh, the begin beginning of uh, some resource gathering on dead zone and a nice little mass of units over here but he does need to spread the creep off the creep um, as we're gonna watch as soon as they hit the creep they slow down a lot and you can get an upgrade to to speed them up a little bit but they still slow down a lot and as you can see there's only still only one two creep tumors there's plenty of creep tumors should be dropped but I just saw a nope I thought I saw a nidus canal that was the um, the hydralis den but uh, as a Zerg player on the large maps like this, you got to get the creep, creep tumors out. You got to spread it out. Uh, one so that it expands your uh, your view. You can you can see what's happening when the Protoss or uh, whoever your enemy is is trying to move in on you. And two, just to add the uh, the speed boost to all of your units, especially the queen. If you get a queen up there, maybe. Um, maybe trying to uh, recharge the life of one of your units uh, she'll be up at the front and she'll be taking some serious damage walking very slowly off um, but anyways that's that's enough about that one uh, but yeah like I was saying you gotta drop the uh, the creep tumors you gotta connect everything uh, a couple creep tumors up here would do fine to wrap around this little area over here so that if you have a if somebody's coming in for attack you can go on both sides of this without having to worry about slowing down uh, connecting this base and this base I said it was enough of it but I know it wasn't enough uh, okay we got an observer going down moving around there looking for some site we got the first Colossus up let's see what's developing over here we got another Colossus coming up we've got the Galeo reconstitution so uh, that speed uh, creep tumor coming down. Uh, Glue reconstitution is speed for uh, for roaches, so they'll be moving faster. Got a couple more pylons. Got a twilight council coming coming down. So it looks like we're gonna have. Um, look at all those pretty lines all over the place. Um, so yeah, twilight council coming down. So we might tech up to high templar. Uh, depending on what this scout goes over there, or we could be going for the uh, blink or charge of uh, some sort. Even more pylons coming down, as it looks like. Um, already he's supply blocked, uh, ambient supply blocked. We still don't have any army movement on this side, though the units are split up like this, and we have Burrow being researched. So, uh, some nasty Burrow going on. Gotta keep the observer, uh, somewhere over there. And this guy's sneaking over here. 
observer coming in, what does he see? He sees the roach warren. He doesn't really see anything else. In a second, ambient should take control of that. Come over here, see what's going on. Uh, this gold only has a little bit of saturation. I would have tried to get even more saturation on that just to get some serious income going. Even though, as you can see, actually just by a little bit, Dead Zone has actually fallen back on the harvester count by only looks like four, but uh, still pretty pretty close as far as uh, resource gathering. As you can see, these these are almost done. More hydralis popping out. Uh, these resources are pretty well plenished, and Ambient is still only on one, although I can bet, yep, right there, these resources are almost completely taken out. Uh, he's going to have to expand soon, but we do see purple. We see a nice little Hydra army right there. Uh, they're going to be able to break through that front wall very easily. Uh, let's see if Ambient is able to get any guys over there. He does have the, uh, the three Colossi, and standing up on this ledge over here can do some serious, serious damage to Dead Zone. Uh, and his hydralis if he can get there in time but it doesn't he's moving over i don't think he's going to get there in time uh this pylon is going to start to snipe stuff out but we got a couple stalkers coming out the colossi are coming out uh doing some damage to those hydras he's got to get a uh, probe over here to rebuild up this wall and looks like uh ambient just taking out a couple more hydras uh on their way out trying to run away now, as I said before, there is no creep over there, so he could have gotten a couple more hits off. Uh, maybe what he could do is he could sneak up over here, right down over here, cause some damage with those colossi. Of course, any type of damage is uh, good damage over there. But coming around this side, we have a speedling doing a little scout, seeing if uh, Ambient had taken the gold over there. We still have the overlords in the um, in the top left and the bottom right, but we do see right there it looks like a hatchery is going to be going down anytime soon. And I got to look at this army tab real quick: 174, 173 for the Zerg, 118 for the Protoss. So Ambient is behind in unit count. But if you look, it's all uh, hydralisks, speedlings, a couple of roaches over there. And uh, if he walls off just right, he doesn't have any type of air unit, but if he walls off just right, these, look at that, four colossi. Those four colossi will be able to do some serious damage uh, to those range units, especially um, especially since he's got the um, extended thermal lance done on those. And he is moving out. He's going to see... Uh, he's going to try and take out these roaches. Looks like the hydras and the um, the zerglings pulled back just a little bit. Uh, got the observer there, so he's able to get those borrowed units. Uh, do a couple, do some damage to those guys. Just let the uh, let the colossi get in there. And now he's moving in with this with the uh, the speedlings, and he's moving in with the uh, with the hydralis. And look at this giant hydralis army. You've got a couple of roaches. Roaches pop it up. Uh, these stalkers there. The sentries putting up putting up the shield, trying to protect the stalkers from the range. Moving back looks like he might be doing a fancy micro, although he did see that giant army. So uh, Ambient's got to be run running for cover because he's got a bad position being um, being locked in this nice little narrow area that he was locked in and big open. So he's got to try and find uh, better positioning for this defense. Uh, this nice little defense setup. Uh, we still don't have blink. We ambient is floating 25, 26,000 minerals. G, uh, 26,000, 2,500, 2,600. Uh, we do see that the Zerg player is coming down across the bottom over here. I got to look to see if he's he's got a second Robo Bay coming up. Uh, he's got more gateways coming up, so it looks like he was busy maintaining on that. That's some really good in income over there. Um, the Zerg player Dead Zone is mounting his army again over here. We 